Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter Mark Eaton. And Mark Eaton is a card for me who's really, really interesting because he's 7 for 4 and has really good speed. I think he's going to be the new best value center in the game for sure. He's 50,000 NT right now and will probably drop in price as the day progresses. This card is going to be absolutely amazing as a Yao Manu Rick Smith's Taco Stopper for 50,000 NT. The value on this card is incredible, and I really do think this is looking like one of the best value cards in the game, period. Assuming that he has a semi-decent release, which I guess we'll have to see. But even if he has a bad release, he's still going to be a better version of Arvidus Savonis, Ralph Sampson, guys like that. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 12,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate it if you'll do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's see what Mark Eaton is looking like. So, seven foot four, nine on offense and defense. You got a 98 close shot, 85 midi, and 76 three ball, 98 standing, and 95 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 99 block, 98 interiors. He's an insane on the interior defender, but very capable on the perimeter as well. 87 perimeter 90 sorry 94 perimeter 87 steel elite rebounder 85 speed and excels phenomenal for a 7-4 player and 89 lateral quickness as well is really really good so he's going to be an incredible defensive card 35 hops only one gold badge so he's going to need added badges for sure but those half badges do include back down punisher bully drop stepper limitless takeoff master posterizer rise up bailout break starter unpluckable vice grip anchor ankle braces challenger chase artist clamps glove interceptor menace off buff has pick dodger post lockdown pogo stick workhorse box up east brick wall and rebound chaser catch and shoot is on gold outside of that you're going to want to add fast twitch to him he's got eight badge slots so remember that fast twitch agent three blinders claymore that's four dead eye is five guard up is six limitless range is seven slippery off ball is eight clamp breaker is nine handles for days is 10 quick first step is 11 so probably don't add three of those less important shooting badges uh badges like blinders claymore and probably i don't know dead eye or something skip out on those three add the other key badges to him and make him as complete as possible he's going to want those badges to make him a much better playmaker and a much better shooter that is going to be important to put those badges on this card to make him as good as possible with that being said first and foremost the player builds elite at 7-4 and he looks every bit of 7-4 just like rick smith has an incredible player build mark eaton does as well and that's going to be really important for him in terms of his ability to guard guys like yao and manute not only that this release is not that bad it's better than ralph samson's release in my opinion it's not as good as rick smith's release obviously and smith's is a better card than this Eaton card but I will say I'm saying right now already this is the fourth best center in the game after uh, Minute, Rick Smith and Yao I think this is the best next best center in the game he has a really solidly smooth release that's easy to green once you get the shooting badges on him he's going to be able to shoot the ball even better but I'm already greening super consistently even with just a 76-3 and a gold catch and shoot the way he comes which is really really nice Move, movement is going to be really nice he doesn't have quick drops right or quick first step or clamp breaker or handles for days added on him right now but uh, he has quick drops as y'all can see Kobe escape is good his size up is pretty solid as well so he's actually going to be able to move really solidly has those front clutch dunk animations as well so that movement is going to be a little bit glitchy with him having 85 speed which is really good for somebody his size and like i said this release is really not that bad it's not great but i'm greening pretty consistently with a low three ball and basically no shooting badges like he is going to be really really good in my team I would not underrate this Ralph, this Mark Eaton card as well at all. This is a top four center in the game, 50,000 MT. That's value right there. Uh, let's hop into a game, see what Mark Eaton can do. Our opponent has Scotty Barnes, in-game KD, Carl Malone, Mark Eaton, and Normal Archaeologist. He literally has an all-encore drop from today. Uh, I assume he bought in-game KD from the option pack, just like I did. We both have in-game KD on the court, and we both have Mark Eaton at center. So, great test for the, our teams. We have very, very similar, even pretty evenly matched teams. So, it's going to be a good test for this Mark Eaton card. Matching him up against himself, who another giant center. Going to get to see what he can get into in this game. The 85 speed, even without quick first step, you can already see, at this size, is going to be really glitchy, especially once you add quick first step handles for days and clamp breaker on the card because he's got some serious speed to him for how big he is good defense here need kd to hoop against his kd because he's going to try to work out with kd of course good defense beautiful stay in front why did we foul didn't need to foul we were in good defensive position there but that is okay really solid start to the game still got mark eating a bucket on the first possession and we're playing solidly on defense now why is mark gasol out guard on the perimeter i don't know he's still a solid perimeter defender though so i'm not too worried about it especially if you're going to shoot that type of shot but he gets the board golly gosh darn it board please thank you there we go much better that time let's get a pick and pop going right here see if we can get a catch and shoot three-point opportunity for mr eaton okay he's just going to overclose out with mark lamarcus aldridge but lamarcus aldridge is not as big as mark eaton can i just get past you please thank you get inside mash him 
there's some value to being seven four, man. There really is. If you get mismatches, you get matched up against anybody who's shorter than about seven foot two, unless it's Shaq, even Shaq to a certain extent, you're gonna be a real mismatch and really, really tough to stop on the interior. Good quick drop animation right there. Good def or good offense by him but not a bad start to the game at all. I'm gonna try to Asta slide Scotty into the screen. He doesn't actually touch the screen, that's tough. Dump down to Mark Eaton though. Um, just get in the post, get in the post. His Mark Eaton, his Mark Eaton is a little boy compared to mine. Okay, I lied. That was a bad offensive possession. Let's not talk about that possession because that one was ugly. Uh, step out here, KD, we're good. Okay, well, I don't know why we're not guarding. Yo, bad defense and we get up the three. Let me get the ball into my KD's hands. Let's see if we can work out a little bit better on the offensive end of the court. Put the ball in my KD hands and i'm struggling with my movement as well right now attacking downhill hit it out to yo that is such a fluke animation though that's so bad oh my gosh we're struggling a little bit right now so he's he's kind of popping me i'm not gonna lie he's kind of popping me we started off well but now down eight to four seeing the value of having these types of shot creators on the court for sure a guy like katie who's as good as he is but hit it out to marcus to mark eaton stop now, see if we can stop and go past him. He's playing really solid defense. I am really, really struggling right now to get a good shot off. And that's just not going to go down. This is not going well at all right now. He's not a shot creator. He's definitely going to need those playmaking badges to be able to create his own shot off the dribble. Because right now, you're noticing the lack of quick first step with his inability to beat a defender off the dribble. And that's something that will get better as the game, as you, when you badge him out and stuff. But offensive board for his freaking Eaton. He's going to get an open jump shot out of it. 10 to 4 right now. We're getting killed. I'm struggling to play through Eaton right now, I'm going to be completely honest, but uh, chill, we're good. See if we can get ourselves a butt. I just messed up my SIG. Oh, fine, we'll take our dunk with KD. Didn't really want to take the dunk with KD, but he gave me an open lane, and he refuses to help off the pop. Like, help off Mark Eaton. He's only got a 76 three ball. He's only got one shooting badge right now. Help off my man, but okay, jump. Good defense there. Great contest, and we do come down with the board. Run on the floor in transition. Dump it up to KD. KD all the way to the... Yo, bad anim... Never mind. It goes down. That was a bad animation, I thought, but it wound up going in. We'll take the bucket right there. Cut the lead back to two. Mark Eaton with a nice little leak out assist right there for our team. Uh, pushing the ball up again. See if we can play ourselves a little bit better defense than we've been playing so far. That's a fine defensive shot. Just a great shot. He's just cooking with KD. I got to give credit where it's due, man. That's not bad defense, I don't feel like. Got to give credit, though. Can you just stop sending bodies at me, though? Like, just let me work out and do my gameplay, please. People who try really hard against me in gameplays get on my nerves sometimes because it is so frustrating. And you don't have time to go to work with Eaton because of 14-second shot clock. He refuses to leave the pop, and it is making it challenging. I guess I'm just going to have to go pick and roll and go three hunt with KD, I guess, and I'll try to hit my slips to Eaton because he's not giving up the pop, and I cannot get a three with Eaton if he doesn't give up the pop. That's like he's 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 very capable of shooting the three-pointer. I did not mean to do that, and I can't get there. Good D, Eaton. Yes, sir. Swinging out the corner. Y'all see the defense, the size, and the shot blocking ability that he's got. 99 shot blocking, which isn't a surprise. I think he's like a f like top. He might be the – is he the all-time leader in blocks or something like that? I don't know. KD getting to the rim, though. We'll take our bucket. That's a huge block by Eaton. Keeps us in the game instead of having us go down seven. He's almost a takeover as well, so hopefully we can get to takeover pretty quickly. Help contest. Beautiful. Bad shot. He's forcing a little bit. We're leaking out in transition. Eaton all the way to the rim. Eaton, hey! Yes, sir. Running the floor. 85 speed. Gets himself a contest and a dunk and now does have takeover. It's actually lock take. I thought it was going to be rim take, but uh, lock take is fine, too. I will live with that. Oh, gets beat off the dribble again. KD is just... Unstoppable force might be an understatement when it comes to Kevin Durant on the offensive end, especially if you know what you're doing. And this dude does seem to know what he's doing. Stopping, popping, that's a little bit of a questionable shot. I gotta get that board though, that's so frustrating. If we get that board, man, that's an easy putback and I feel like he's in good defensive position to get that board, but not able to do it. He forces up the tray fade, finally misses a shot with KD and Eaton comes down with his third board of the game. Eaton pushing the ball up the court all the way. Eaton just blowing right by Lamarcus Aldridge, gets downhill. You're seeing the 85 speed, man, it's there. It's just he doesn't have quick first step right now so he's not getting a good burst on his first step out of these animations and stuff so that's why i couldn't beat defenders off the dribble i felt like earlier in the video good good cut him off good defense now recover back out to the corner contest good defense we'll live with that like eaton doesn't have a great release but he is a very capable shooter when you need him to be spinning to the rim lay it in mark misses the layup I don't know what his driving layup rating is but that is frustrating um we'll live with it good pinch middle here help down good defense swing up top he just actually threw an absolute steamer but i think it was an abs accidental steamer because he didn't shoot it with a with a uh, aldridge and we get yet another board eaton is just filled i wasn't watching the clock i just lost this game because i wasn't watching the clock 
That's my fault. Eight points, four Evo, one assist, one block, four of six. I did not play my best for a lot of that game. We got it going toward the end, but it was a little late. But I like this Eaton card a lot. He's a really, really good option, especially for his value. Let's hop back to the main menu and let's view the card. I know I didn't play my best in that game, but we did get it going towards the end. Y'all see the value of a guy like Eaton as an elite level shot creator or shot blocker and interior defender against the super glitchy cards. The speed is super valuable. He does need badges, and I'm going to badge out my Mark Eaton because with the badges, he will be a much, much better card, both as a shooter and as a playmaker. Um, with that being said, though, this is the best value center in the game, and he's the fourth best center in the game as well. If you need a center and you do not have Manute, Rick Smiths, or Yao Ming, by Mark Eaton. He's the guy. Plain and simple. Manute is crazy expensive. Dark Matter Yao is still crazy expensive. And Rick Smith isn't available anymore from RNG. So get Mark Eaton. He's your guy. Card is absolutely amazing. And that's going to do it for this video. Hope y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.